Hello, it's Chris Maniak. I am at Metri, Metri Louisiana, store 2544. I'm outside the store right now. Just pulled in. It's about 7 a.m. Um, usually take a series of uh, final videos and recaps of everything that I found while I was in the store. Uh, but I thought it would be um, neat this time to actually take a video as I walk into the store for the first time. Uh, do notice, which is unusual and I was unexpected other than my installer, that there's actually some cars here. So it looks like the GC or some electricians might actually be here, which is pretty cool. I've never seen that on a Saturday. So anyways, I will take a walk in. Um, I did see some emails about a pressure chest pressure test um, and uh, on the water lines so I'm assuming what that's what this is good old Louisiana dirt probably floating up and down in there but anyways let's take a walk in and see what we got looks pretty clean from outside Go ahead and take a walk in the doors. So we got the vestibule, looks pretty clean. Car corral in. Finishes all look pretty good. We got the installer's callback items on a pallet there. Seasonal is all set. And my first take walking in the door is it actually looks clean. EOS systems, fixtures all in up here. So far, so good. Check out the Bopus storage room. See some CBFs missing. No big deal. Got a couple construction materials in here. A frames all set, mag book racks on. See our wreath walls up that hasn't always been common and that's actually done during the initial fixture install so that's good price checkers in that hasn't happened in a while when I've arrived there's the Boston group eye wall we got a monitor up once again doing pretty good with the IT installation you could see conduits drop down to all the runs so it looks like um, we're doing pretty good on fixture electric, but once again, I just walked in, so I have to actually take a look at all of it. We got our diamond wall. Every store I go to, the di top of the diamond wall looks like that, so they're gonna have to clean it off, but I've been having issues with that. Even after they clean it, they're having problems getting it clean. Defenders are in. They must be missing closed base front, so I see someone missing down there. Jewelry lights are up and powered. Cord reels installed. Looks like all the LUS lights are on. Glowforge installed and the monitor. The registers are on scoreboard have all the mods staged and here is our first or at least my first uh, x-frame conversion that's completely done uh, or I should say RF conversion they look really good wire weld all the carts are in all the science blinds are up I'm impressed. Uh, this pr this is what the store should look like. Lights are on and the cut bar, tombstone tablets are in. Honestly, I am going to have to give uh, huge props to the IT department and construction. This is the most complete um, IT install I've walked into on the first day of like a walk. 
So this is really good. You can see our uh, modular fabric feature fixtures are done. Um, it's the quilt feature wall. Saw the plug mold up there. Electrical's all done. So that's looking good. Wire weld, you can see all the installer staging for the project team, all straight and neat. And then the wire weld up against the front of the building. Here's our 33 inch uprights. I did, um, I'll have to take a look at it to see if we can get a second shelf in what that will look like. You could see on a normal four shelf format that this shelf here is actually higher than the upright here. So I don't know if we'll actually be able to get a second shelf in, but we'll test it. But um, Gabby had sent me over the rendering. This is actually what it's supposed to look like, how it was designed without the top shelf on. So I asked him to pull them off, but we do have those on site. See, it looks like they're going to have to backfill that once they get their um, pressure test done. Looks like they're leaving that open intentionally. And then, real quickly, just to end this quick little initial walk in the store recap, check out the break rooms and back room. See, we still have our same hanging end cap spline issue. I'm assuming all those were ordered around the same time, so that was anticipated, I guess. Got bathrooms. When I walk in, we have bathrooms at work. Um. Alright, remind me that I need to walk back and wash my hands and that doorknob because there's no soap in there. Office is clean, or uh, break room is clean. Looks like something's wrong with the bulletin board, but it is up. We're missing a TV, but the antenna's up. Looks like something's wrong with the... Uh, Anchoring for the bulletin board, so I'll have to ask him about that. Everything's installed. We're not missing anything in here, or at least on a quick glance. Clean. All right, let's hit the stock room, and we will end this video. I didn't look at the map when I came in the store, so I have no idea where the stock room is. This is the part where you're going to laugh at me as I walk a 360 around the store trying to find the stock room. I'm assuming it's back here somewhere. Here we go. Wow. Clean. Organized. You know what? I think I might take my installer and the GC out for lunch or dinner because I am impressed. This is refreshing that I'm walking into a store for the first time minimal expected things they're probably working on but uh, this is incredible that the store is I shouldn't say incredible um, this is how it should be but hasn't been either my installer or has a mess going on or is not done with the install when I get here or um, because of whatever issues the GC is doing the same thing and I'm sure they got a punch list both of them but this is really good huge shout out to construction Jamie 
and Ryan and Missy. Um, and a huge shout out to the IT team because this is this is just great. All right, I'm gonna sign off, and then of course we will. Um, I'll be posting a more thorough recap once I do my walk of things that we may have missed and improvements that we can make, um, and then like thorough reviews of more complicated issues. I'll be making those videos, but that was here was a just a little initial walkthrough, uh, which turned out to be awesome. So we got a little door thing uh oh check this guy out whoa i just frightened him so anyways there's our mascot for the store uh freddy the lizard but uh thanks for watching the video and thanks to all the teams that made it so we walked in for the first time and had it looking like that so good job